that it hails okay all right so that's that's not really good it's not a very good move holy snap all right so let's switch back to my empoleon use bubble beam again because you know how well that did and uh see if we could just kind of one yeah okay so bubble beam is just super duper heavily effective hail doesn't even really do much to be honest so um i i know what i'm gonna be using <laughs> Uh, obviously. Ooh, there we go. Uh, trap foes in a violent swirling rope for four to five turns. It's like better than... Shoot, this is this is tough, guys. Um, hail kind of sucks. Hail sucks. Let's just get over that. Let's, 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 let's get past that. We, we all knew it, and, and we're all past it. And hail just sucks. So... And it's raining outside, so I... Uh, so, so if it's hailing outside, then I would say the exact same thing. In real life, hail sucks. All right, that's a really low level Magmar. Magmortar though, Magmortar, Magmor, Mag. There we go. Bubble Beam, bro. Have you ever met my Bubble Beam? All right, so you've met it now. Oh no, don't die. Don't die. Oh nice. Use Leer. Thank you for doing that. That's very very nice of you. Um, I think. Okay, so he just used Confuse Ray on me. But, uh, I think, and, and I'm not positive. Oh, the user relaxes, up, it sharply boosts his speed. Crap. Crapola. Okay. Um, so once he's a Pidgeot, I believe he can fly, I can fly on him, which is going to be really nice for finding bosses and all sorts of Pokemons. Um, so that's what we're doing right now. But I believe, like, the Confuse Ray and all that stuff, I think, uh, it seems like it's not as effective as it used to be. Meaning, like, prior to this um confusion that i'm getting now it was really hard if you guys remember to get snap out of confusion in general um now it's not impossible it's kind of like pretty easy actually i don't even know why honestly i i got more pokemon other than empoleon and pidgeot or pidgeotto but all right let's see if we can bubble beam him to death come on no no not cool at all how did he just destroy my face like that? Alright, that's fine with me. That's cool with me. You think you're cool? You think you're cool because you can pick on people like in Polion? That's not cool. I'll tell you what's not cool, that. Alright, let's go back. Oh, man, there's not... Maybe Pidgeotto, honestly. Oh, wow, okay. Let's just, like, run, because this is just going to be bad. Let's just run. Let's just not even waste time. Let's get out of here. Oh, come on, run. Okay, there we go. Ah! Okay, so we're just gonna keep healing up. Like, I just want to get to my Pidgeot uh, phase. A lot of you guys, thank you so much to all you guys who've been watching and stuff. I'm so, so, so appreciative of all you good-looking gamers who who just leave all those awesome ratings and great comments that help me um, with leveling up and all this jazz. And uh, it, it is honestly so helpful. You have no idea how helpful it is. So let's go ahead and kill another one of these guys. Uh, sand attack him. And then, uh, we'll switch to Empoleon. Alright, so we're only going to be able to last for as long as this Pidgeotto lasts for because I just really want to, I want to get him leveled up to Pidgeot so I can fly around and pick out bosses, like, super duper easy. Um, it's level 33, he's got to be getting there real shortly. Alright, we'll try another guy. Maybe find a boss or something, see what's going on. I like how Pokemon actually, like, fly around in this. Oops. Alright, let's... Let's go for a camera. Those are usually... Alright. Let's go. Oh, no. I did not mean... Okay. I didn't mean to do that. But, uh, we'll go to Empoleon. <laughs> uh, poor Eradicate. He didn't do anything to deserve that. Alright, cool. One shot at him. Alright. Well, we're just gonna keep on sending out Empoleon and then switching it... Or Pidgeotto and then switching it to Empoleon and just bubble beaming. Um, because the XP is just too, too freaking OP. Alright. Let's go. Ah, oh, you jerks! You got in a fight straight in front of me. You would do that, wouldn't you? All right, let's see over here. Oh, there's another camera up. We'll get him. Get some Uber XP. Get that Empoleon leveled up. I think a Dragonite is necessary, or multiple Dragonites, to be completely honest. Um, but I don't know the best way to catch them. So we got to figure that one out for sure. I don't know why I just used the move. That was so stupid of me. All right, we're gonna we're gonna go back already. Oh, that was so stupid. I don't know why I did that. So. It is good, though, that you guys have told me, and you have all been so support- Oh, 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 what is that? Is that a boss? No, okay, it's just a pharaoh. I always think they're boss pharaohs because they're red. 
Uh, wait, 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 which way do I go? Okay, I was going the wrong way. Um, but yeah, no, a bunch of you guys have been leaving such supportive, awesome comments to help me with my training, Zors, and, uh, it's been actually extremely helpful. And I think it comes down to, in the final, like, battle, having those, like, three or four super-duper OP Pokemons. Hey, look who it is! It's the Benja Canadia! Hello, hello, hello. You look fabulous. <laughs> you look half as good as me today, Mitch. And I mean that. At PAX. Oh, hell no! You guys are way, way, way ahead of me. No way am I fighting that dude. I will walk the other way. <laughs> I can't. Too OP. Too strong. But give me another episode, winky face. And I might have some little tricks up my sleeve. I wonder if Jeremy's playing or Jerome, because that could make all the difference. Um, because Jeremy is a thinker and Jerome's not. Whoa! I was like, what the hell is that? A Flygon. I don't even want that. Alright, so, of the desert Pokemon so far, guys, make sure to leave a comment and let me know which ones I should grab. If not, obviously, I'm gonna go, um, try to grab some Pokemons. Uh, oh my god, look how tiny that Geodude is. He's a little, little guy. Uh, oh, alright, I'll kill you. But, I'll switch to my Pidgeotto. Don't kill me. Alright, good. Alright, and then I'll go to Empoleon. He's so close to leveling up, I swear we're gonna have fly, we're gonna be flying around by the end of this episode. It's level 34. Oh, I should pick up, like, bones and anything that I probably can. Um, oh, I gotta get the GLG tickler out. That's what I was doing wrong. So, so wrong. That was the only... Oh, 49 golem. Hello. Pokemon. Empoleon. I wonder if the desert warp is slash warp slash space desert? I don't even... I didn't see it, though. That's the only thing, so I don't really know. Uh, wow, how did that, how did my Pidgeotto not level up from that? That's crazy. We'll try it again. Empoleon. We'll keep doing it, actually. There's no need to ever stop. Um, I think we could set the time to day two. Oh, so close! I think one more level. I think at 36 he levels up, so we should be able to get him here. And Pokemon, Empoleon. I know I'm switching, and, and, and that means that I'm kind of giving XP to both, but obviously I'm doing that on purpose. So that I can get my Pidgeotto, or Pidgeot faster, so I can fly! Whoa, what the hell are you? A si- A Sigilyph? A Sigilyph. Sigilyph. Hello, Sigilyph. Of course I knew what a Sigilyph is, guys. Come on, don't you really think I'm a noob? What do you take me for, a noob? Alright, we'll just kill Gravelers. We'll just keep on keeping on. My Empoleon's gonna level up right after this one. I can totally feel it. Whoopa! Leveled! Oh, Pidgeotto! <gasps> What's happening? Pidgeotto is evolving into a da -da 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 Pidgeot. What up? I hope I like get the fly move, or I'll be pissed. I will force them to give it to me if I don't. Oh, wait, Mitch, you can't see my evolutions, though. Yeah. All right, cool. Can I ride it? 